let me talk for a minute about EDS, Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome. I can never pronounce it. I don't know why, just like a tongue twister for me, uh, in association with lipedema. So a lot of times we see the patients that have lipedema and they're very hyperflexible. And one of the tests of flexibility is how much they can bring the thumb down to the uh, wrist or how far they can bend. And usually if the patient can stand straight, bend forward and reach the floor with outstretched hands, not with a finger point, but with outstretched hands, we consider them to be hyperflexible and po probably have a components of EDS. Here's the importance of it. If we believe the patient has the components of EDS, EDS by itself, which is a connective tissue disorder, has its own set of complications and requires a special protocols for anesthesia. So if you have lipedema and you're hyperflexible, you have higher chance of having, of having um, post-operative hypotension, the POTS, the post-operative orthostatic hypotension with bradycardia. And that's why the current standard of care for the patients with EDS require overnight observation, regardless of what kind of surgery you're having or we have lipedema or not. So in my practice, when I see somebody who is hyperflexible with lipedema, especially if we're doing high volume liposuction, or even if we're doing low volume liposuction, we would keep the patients overnight for safety. Okay, and right now it's one of the standards of care. So if you're thinking about lipedema surgery um, and somebody is offering you outpatient procedure and you're hyperflexible, remember you could be at higher risk of complications and you may benefit from overnight observation. And if you're paying cash for it, a few hundred extra dollars for overnight observation could be a well worth investment uh, just for the safety reasons.